Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the Chemistry for Detectives set by Mel Chemistry, we will learn how to develop fingerprints with iodine vapor. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a region, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the iodine camera experiment, you will need the solution of citric acid, sodium thiosulfate, the solution of potassium iodide, a measuring spoon, a white sheet of paper, a disposable cup, and 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Add one big measuring spoon of potassium iodide to the disposable cup. Then add one big measuring spoon of citric acid solution into it. Next, pour three big measuring spoons of 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide, which can be found at any pharmacy, into the cup. Carefully mix the contents with a swirling motion. Now take off one of the protective gloves and make a fingerprint on the white sheet of paper. Cover the cup with the sheet so that the fingerprint is facing down and wait for five minutes. Hydrogen peroxide reacts with potassium iodide to form elemental iodine. The lines of the fingerprint contain an oily residue which dissolves the iodine vapor. This is why the fingerprint becomes visible on the paper. Neutralize the rest of the iodine with the help of two big measuring spoons of sodium thiosulfate. Pour the solution down the sink and wash away with an excess of water. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.